Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. I am so excited to be with you all today and I hope everyone is doing wonderfully well. In today's video, I shared this amazingly popular street food both in Ghana, Nigeria and many other parts of Africa. We're making suya today and I begin by removing the tough membrane known as the silver skin you will be chewing this forever so try to get rid of it whenever you're making suya so your meat can literally melt in your mouth <laughs> and i'm using the tenderloins okay you may use any other part of the meat that you prefer then i'm going to go ahead and cut it into thin flat strips okay you may cut it any way you prefer but i want to make this as authentic as possible so i cut it this way be careful with your knife you do not want to cut yourself i just want to have thin layers like this i'll then transfer it into a bowl and i'll add some cold water to it and allow it sit what this will do is to get rid of some of the blood that is left in in the meat i want it to be as bloodless as possible so just leave your meat in there and you will see the blood coming out just like this i'll rinse it out get rid of that water and i'll move on to a optional step which is to tenderize the meat even further so what i'm going to do is to add in some baking soda and add some more water to this i'll allow it to sit for just about five minutes this will help tenderize the meat and also get rid of some more blood in the meat so if you're worried about eating red meat this is some steps you can take to get rid of as much blood out of it as possible and also the baking soda helps tenderize it okay and we are back as you can see our water is so much bloody so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that water and wash it thoroughly then we'll go ahead and pat it dry with some paper towel and then we'll move on to the next step now in a bowl i'm going to go ahead and add in some coconut oil you may use any oil of your choice but i prefer coconut oil to this i'm going to go ahead and add in some of my sweet ajili all-purpose seasoning and some suya spice i'm also going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt to taste you may add any seasoning of your choice but the suya spice you must add mix it into a nice paste just like this and we are ready to go now you may bake this in your oven or grill it on your grill outdoor or indoor grill it'll still work i will be using my halogen or convection oven I'll make sure to brush the rack with some oil so that the meat doesn't stick and then I'll go ahead and place the meat onto the rack. What they usually do on the streets of Accra is to add the seasoned oil on the side that is going to go on the grill once they put it on the grill they will brush the other side as well but since my heating mechanism will be coming from the top part of this grill i'm just going to brush that side and allow it grill until it is nice and golden brown on one side and once i flip it over i'll brush the other side as well I'll cover and grill this on one side for about 20 minutes under 275 degrees Fahrenheit because this is a very small space. If grilling it in your oven, you may set it at 350 or 
400 degrees Fahrenheit. But as I said, this is a very small space and I don't want it to burn, but I want it to cook perfectly. So it's been about 20 minutes and I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and we're going to go ahead and add some of our seasoned oil on this other side as well. And we'll allow it to just grill for an additional five to 10 minutes and our suya will be ready. <laughs> And just as on the streets of Accra, crispy on the outside and super nice and moist on the inside. Mm -mm -mm. And I'll be serving it just the way they do in a newspaper and a little bit of suya spice on top of it. Do not forget your onions and you will be set. Miss nothing even when you're not in Ghana or Africa. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and are inspired to try the recipe. To my sweet team, y'all know I love you. Until I see you in the next video, stay safe. Keep loving each other. And remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing. And guys, ke unamini ochemi suite mahabotu. Bye y'all.